Welcome to the Bradford District Channel. I'm on my way through Keithley to try to find the cave that Geoffrey Brindley, also known as the Bradford Jesus Man, sought solace in. Now this cave is supposed to be in Settle and I believe the name is Victoria Cave. So I'm going to set off now and uh, take a trip down there and uh, let's see what I can find. I'm right in the countryside, in the settled area. I'm just going to try to find this cave now. Uh, so I'm going to walk across this land and uh, let's see where it takes us. I'm just going to shorten the turn left. Walking past the cattle grid and let's continue with the next path. You can see it's not mean feet. It's quite some distance and there are several caves here. So I'm gonna to to try to work out how to try to negotiate the landscape to walk up them. I uh, counted one, two, three, four. So uh, let's see which one it is. And unfortunately, there's no signage around here. Um, I just pan across, you can see what it's like. It's quite in inhospitable, this terrain. You can see. Quite unforgiving. So, let's have a go. See if I can get up here. If I fall, you'll know about it. How on earth, Jeffrey Brindley walks around here just amazes me. I'll let you know as well. I'm, I'm using a, a stick to hiking stick to help me walk around here, and I am wearing hiking boots as well. So I'm not walking around here wearing trainers on, and I would not advise it either.
I've not time lapsed this part because it's um, quite interesting to see what it's like around here. Not sure if this is the one that the Bradford Jesus man was in. You probably can hear that I'm out of breath. <laughs> Not surprised. very slippy as well so we have to be extra careful um, I think I'll walk around here on the right hand side Oh yes, it is Victoria Cave, I can see a sign ahead. So, let's just see what it says here. As you can see clearly, Victoria Cave. I think I'm going to need my torch for this because I can't see a thing. It's quite dark. So I shall be right back. So bear with me. So this cave, allegedly, is the one that Jesus man lived in. It's quite a complex, is this? I'm not going to venture too far in because it, it's quite. something. Wow. You can see it just seems to go on and on. So who knows which side he would have lived in. See, I don't think I'll be going down there, it's quite a drop, and I've already slipped, so, yeah, it's, um, you can see it's a, some sort of a complex, and I'm certainly not going down there, but it's quite a fascination to say, this is a place where he's supposed to have lived for a while, to seek solace. And then, oops, I said it's a bit slippy. I don't think I'm going to venture much further because it is quite testing. So let's err on the side of caution.
Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Didn't expect this. I only expected it to be a small little hole, but it's a, it's a complete cave complex. I may just try to venture a little bit down there, but I'm not going to go too far in. But um, clearly it's vast. And I bet there's all sorts of weird and wonderful wildlife in here. Little warrens here you can see there. Holes in the in the rocks as if it's some sort of an alien planet. Truly fascinating. And to be honest, fraught with danger. I'm not going to go too far now. Just take you to the mouth of this second tunnel. Just don't want to really go in there. It's just, could be a drop or anything. Yeah, it, it does. Wow, look at that. Just seems to go down. You can hear water dripping on me. I'll just see if I can zoom in a bit further. See if any we can see anything on there. Yeah, it just goes on. Um, yeah, I, I don't fancy going down there. Thank you very much. Let's swing around to the right here, and I can see again. It's not the most hospitable terrain. Very slippy as well, and. You can see drips dripping through the roof. Well, sort of, I don't know what you'd call it to be honest. Cave, ceiling, roof. And again, I think there's another section around here. Yeah, amazing, yep. Yeah growth in here of plants, beautiful green plants in a cave. Right, so I shall walk back out of here. So if Geoffrey Brindley was here, he would have walked around here. Probably ate, eaten his food around here. Don't know where he would have got his food from. And um, must have been a very Interesting time for him. Another point of interest which I find quite fascinating is where was the Jesus man stood in that black and white photograph. He was stood uh, in front of rocks and there were, was a cave-like type feature behind him. I think I've actually found it. I'm actually stood in front of it right now. So I'm going to swing the camera around and it's this, I believe it's this here. I'll zoom in a little bit more to give you an idea. There we are. Right, I shall give you a comparison. I have my handy tablet here. Uh, you can see the feature that we have here is this there. You can see, but clearly the bottom has fallen off. So, if you look in the middle of the of the picture, part of the rock has has fallen, and it seems to be that rock there. You can see that one there, and get to it, that one there, that's fallen off from, or broken away from here, 
and you can see in the picture it's there with a big crack in it clearly there's no doubt about it no doubt in my mind this is the same place the roof also is similar Unfortunately, you won't be able to see it very well, but because it's starting to get dark. But I shall leave my tablet in the foreground. Uh, so I suspect that the Jesus man would have been stood possibly somewhere sort of here in this photo. In that photo. Rock formation is there. 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 I'm glad I found the cave. Uh, where uh, the brother Jesus man stayed. Uh, or should I say, I suspect it's this one, judging by the photograph which proves that he was here. He must have been quite a tough guy, because this is not friendly terrain. The, uh, the rocks are slippy, the floor is boggy in places, muddy. Without a doubt, quite a tough man. And from here, uh, where he sought solace and some revelation came to him, he ventured on towards Bradford and uh, he was there for many years, as we all know, a uh, part of Bradford's history. Uh, and I'm sure he'll never be forgotten. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video. And uh, as I say, and I will be saying regularly until my next video.